with another helmet unboxing video. Um, so let's just uh, quit messing around and get right into it. Scissors, always be careful. Never run with scissors. And always be careful opening boxes. You don't want to cut up whatever is inside your box. Now, you can see where this box came from, from the distinctive tape. Touratech, you gotta love any day a box from Touratech shows up. Uh, I'm just glad that my mailman doesn't ride because uh, that makes means that all of my Tour Tech boxes make it all the way to the house every time. So let's see what's in here. Uh, looking forward to a helmet from Tour Tech. And oh, hey, uh, that's not a helmet, is it? No, nope, that is a visor, and that's all that that is. And the reason for that is because when I ordered the Aventuro, the new version, version two of the Aventuro helmet from Touratech, uh, it was back ordered and I got the visor first. And I had the visor for several weeks. They're selling so many Aventuro helmets that they can barely keep them in stock. So it took several weeks to get the helmet itself, uh, which is kind of exciting. I'm very happy for Touratech that they're selling the crap out of their new Aventuro version. Um, but as uh, anybody who knows me knows up front, I always go with a smoke shield on the outside rather than an internal visor smoke shield on helmets that are so equipped because I like to keep the inside of my helmet cool uh, and the clear visor on the outside and the smoke visor on the inside does not keep the heat down inside the helmet. I'm also, as you can see, a spectacles wearer and uh, even though Every helmet I've ever owned that had an internal visor, it cleared my glasses just fine. It introduces, for me at least, a little bit of a claustrophobic feeling having that visor so close to my face. Um, it is pretty uncomfortable for me. So discomfort is not safe. Anytime you have anything on your, in your gear or on your motorcycle that causes you physical discomfort, it's distracting. And distracted riding equals damage, death, destruction, dismemberment, all those nasty things. So, visor, that came first. But, eventualmente, my Aventuro version two from Touratech did come. Now you can see that it's outside the shipping box because that thing is huge. And uh, I did uh, crack the seal, but uh, I have not opened this helmet yet. So, or open this box yet, so I don't know what's inside it. As a matter of fact, it's been so long, it was so long between when I ordered it and when I got it because of the back order situation that I even forgot which color scheme I ordered. Now, uh, I'm a bright color helmet person. Um, I'm pretty sure I didn't order a black helmet, but uh, who knows, I guess we'll find out together. Uh, so, a nice, nice box that it, it survived shipping, it seems to have survived shipping very well. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got a satisfaction guaranteed. Congratulations on your purchase of the new Touratech Aventuro helmet. Now this is also my first adventure style helmet, so I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, and in case you didn't know, Touratech themselves don't make these helmets. These helmets are made for Touratech by Schuberth. So you're getting Schuberth quality and uh, Touratech innovation on these things. Um, to ensure your satisfaction with the helmet, here's a few fitting tips. Please do not discard any packaging until uh, you are absolutely certain the helmet fits. When you first try on your helmet, spend at least 20 minutes wearing it. Uh, the uh, final, today's Saturday, it's uh, Qatar weekend for World Superbike. The very last race of the season starts in an hour and six minutes. So uh, that might be a good opportunity for me to uh, head upstairs to the computer, put my helmet on, and uh, vroom, vroom along with Jonathan Ray and the rest of the Superbike, World Superbike guys. Um, with the chin strap tightened, you should be unable to remove the helmet. Uh, I gotta go with duh on that, but you know, of course you gotta say stuff. So, uh, this is not applicable for Aventura Mod. Okay, so there's a little instruction sheet on the back if you have an Aventura Carbon which, uh, which I do not, so we're gonna ignore that. Um, let's see, so we've got some cardboard spacers. We've got, ooh, that feels nice. What is this? Ergo padding system. Das Ergo padding system ist ein Sch uh, wait a minute. The Ergo padding system is a foam replacement kit that allows the rider to personalize helmet fit according to his head shape. 
uh, cool. It feels like there's some hard parts in there and some soft parts in there. So we'll check that out if it doesn't fit right. Uh, a little bit more carbon, car uh, not carbon, cardboard um, spacing. We've got a pin lock insert, which is fantastic. I love, love, love that helmet manufacturers are including these in the box with the helmets, uh, especially for high-end expensive helmets like this. Um, it's nice to get a, to feel like you're getting a little extra. I'm sure that they build the price of the pin lock insert into the price of the helmet. I have no doubts about that. This is business after all, and business is business. You don't make money by losing money, but adding $20 to the price of my helmet up front and giving me a pin lock feels way better than cutting the price of the helmet 20 bucks and then charging me 40 bucks for a pin lock insert. I like that a lot. Now we've got a nice looking bag here. It says Tech Aventuro on the side. It's clearly fitted for the Aventech, or the uh, <laughs> Aventuro helmet with the bill on it. So let's, uh, let's pop the lock here and pull it on out, see what we got. I'm very excited about this. I've never had an adventure style helmet. I, I don't ride adventure style, but I do tend to ride at the times of day when having a nice peak on the helmet to protect your eyes is gonna be a good thing. Ooh, this is fancy. Now I remember I ordered the red, white, and blue. This is absolutely beautiful. This is a lovely helmet. Exactly what you would expect from Shoebirth, exactly what you would expect from Touratech. Um, like a lot of helmets, it's not perfectly round. I think Arai is the only maker that makes perfectly round helmets. Anytime you see um, helmets with ridges, those are things that can catch on the ground if you happen to be sliding across it. But uh, the plastic stuff is generally all designed to shear off in those instances. The uh, bill feels nice. It looks like it's in two pieces here. The outer piece um, is plastic. This inner piece I'm sure is plastic, but it feels a little bit rubberized. Um, which is kind of cool. The finish is really slick. It's really nice. There's a goggle holder back there that pops off. You put your goggle strap in there and uh, put it on there. Um, that'll never see a goggle strap in my lifetime, um, but it feels good. It's nice. It's well designed. Um, let's see what we got here. There's a little handy sticker here that says unlock. So I'm guessing that's how the visor comes off. That rotates 90 degrees and pops right out. And then I'm guessing I gotta undo this little thumb wheel thingy. Look at that, just that easy. That comes right off, the bill comes right off. And now you got that little thumb screw. Will it go all the way in? Yes, it will go all the way in. So now the hole's covered. There's a, you can see that there's a vent under there. Nice big scoop vent. Oh, that'll definitely come off in a, in a crash situation. Um, it feels nice and sturdy. Let's see what else is going on here. Ooh, there's little brow vents. Look at that. That is slick. That's a nice detail. There's a little ridge on there that I'm sure uh, you can catch with gloves. I should have brought a pair of gloves up to try this out. Um, that is very cool. Little brow vents, I like that. Cool. Um, there's a, looks like there's a little slot in here to pop that off if you gotta pop that off. Uh, maybe we'll find out what's under there. Uh, it's not a flip front, so I'm not gonna mess with it. The lift tab is in the front. Hey, look at that, that pops right off when the visor's not on. So I'm guessing in the bag must be something to secure that on there. Um, if you don't have the visor on, because uh, that's probably a little dangerous, right? So it even shows you on the front uh, the different configurations. So that comes a lot closer to being modular than a helmet that flips up in the front. That's a pet peeve of mine. Anytime I talk about helmets, you're gonna hear me talk about that. Um, so you put both visors on and they have that down for travel, with guests like road travel. 
you take the little visor and the face shield off and now you're geared for off-road you take the whole visor off and put the face shield on and you're guild for get mm, good for on-road travel see what this says here the most versatile lightweight helmet for any terrain the perfect combination of safety and comfort now having owned a shoe berth helmet before I can attest to the um, relatively excessive safety quality of those helmets I never crashed in mine but boy is that a well-made helmet so let's see what we got going on here it's it's light this is as light as uh, any helmet I've ever um, had it's got a nice sturdy d-ring closure with uh, kind of extra thick d-rings um, that looks good now I can tell you from experience anything made by shoe birth which means these helmets is going to be a little tough to get on the first few times just because of the way it's made and there's a little trick to it instead of just kind of pulling it on you want to kind of get it over and then come down with it roll it forward just a little bit and seat it into place easy peasy the helmet went right on slide my glasses in it's a little tight on the glasses that'll break in uh, over over time the chin is pretty close it's closer than the Simpson um, you can see all my beard hair sticking out uh, the chin strap is in exactly the right place it's well placed and uh, the D-ring closure works just fine if I can get my fingers to do it. It's got a long tab ahead of the snap, so that's a little confusing. And then it clips right in, okay? So that's good, it feels good right away. I can tell there's a little bit of space in the back on either side, kind of here, but uh, the forehead to back of the head distance is perfect. Uh, with my long oval head, this is probably going to be a really comfortable helmet. Um, so let's see how that works with the visor. Glasses off. Helmet off. That went on nice and easy. DOT certified. ECE certified. No Snell rating, I'm guessing because it's an adventure style helmet. I don't know how those fare. Uh, but you know what? This is a good opportunity to crack open the other visor. Let's grab my scissors again so I don't really destroy it. And, lo and behold, check it out, check it out. Set up for pin lock right out of the bag. Beautiful. Thank you, Touratech, for paying attention to that little detail on your dark smoke face shield. So now, let's get this going, see how hard this is to put back together. Now, even though it's bad etiquette, I'm going to turn this around so that I can see what I'm doing. And when I pulled it up, it came right off. So let's see. All right, let's look at it. There's a little tooth in there and a little notch. So find the tooth and the notch. I'm betting the notch goes there. Alright, tell you what, let's try the one that came right off of it. Looks the same. So that's not going straight on. So let's do this. You know how I hate to look at the instructions, but let's look at the instructions. And now I'm guessing that some of these hard parts are for when you put the face shield on without the visor. So there's two little instruction packets in here. This one says English, Francais, Espanol, Deutsch. Let's see what this one is. Oh, look, pretty pictures. 
So this is a this is a really typical Touratech little booklet that's uh, that's going to show me everything. Shows it about the ergo padding. So it's a nice it's a you know European style, which means that pretty much any moron can follow the instructions because they put pictures with circles and arrows and descriptions on the back of every eight by ten glossy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look at this and uh, I'll skip forward in the video to where I've already figured it out and I can put it on without uh, boring you. So let's see. Uh, und das Visier, uh, the Germans first. All right, so let's try that. Oh, this got a hole in it. That hangs off it when you, when you sell it. So let's find the mechanism hole. Put that anywhere. There's the pin, there's the mechanism hole. Oh, okay, I see what I was doing, wrong. Maybe. Yeah, so it, it has a positive snap in. So there's a little hole above the mechanism. You position the pin and then you just push it down and then it's on. Um, you want to get it on both sides. And then down. Now, let's see. What do we do? Remove cover piece. There's a lot of instructions, there's a lot of pieces. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, so this covers up the top somehow. There's a, oh man, this is like a, I feel like a little bit like I might have bought this from Ikea. It's got all these parts. Uh, it should have come with an Allen wrench. Um, so clearly, I've got a little bit of figuring out to do, but I know one thing that if I spin off this top locking pin, make sure I don't lose that. Probably ought to just get in touch with them right now and get a new one <laughs> for when I lose it. So this goes in here. this it's hard to see on camera but it's easy to see where they fit in when you're on the helmet and then they they block very positively and then you just position that where you want it and tighten down the top there so instructions hard parts some cheek pad, pad modification items here. And, oh, thank you very much, Touratech. That is an extra visor bag for when you're out. Oh, and it's even got an extra little pocket there for if you want to tuck in some wipes or something, you can do that. Uh, let's see, and it slips over. There you go. That is really nice. Thank you very much, Tour Tech, for throwing that in the box as well. So there you got it, the Adventure Adv Aventuro Mod version 2, out of the box, ready to use. And in a few months, I will follow up with a review of this helmet. It's been nice talking to you again. Uh, once again, pardon the dishwasher, but you know, review kitchen. Take it easy. Yeah.